In this video, we're going to talk about Extent Report, and we're going to discuss how we can change the default view on a report. Welcome to Automate Now, I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. Let us have a look at a typical Extent Report. And here I have this sample report. As you can see, we have some tabs here on the left. If you click on the first tab right here, it shows you a dashboard. And this dashboard has lots of useful information. For example, it tells you how many tests passed, how many tests failed. It even gives you some nice charts, as you can see here. However, this is in the default view when we set up Extent Report. By default, it will show you this other view over here. This one shows you the individual tests that ran. In this case, we only had one test that ran, and it gives us all the details for that specific test. Some people like seeing this view, but other people such as myself, we prefer to see this other view, the dashboard. So I'm going to show you how you can set up Extend Report to automatically show this dashboard. Let's go to the code. The method that you're seeing now on test failure is the method that is in charge of taking screenshots anytime that a test fails. And we're going to be using this method to generate an Extend Report. If you would like to learn how to set up Extend Report using this method, go ahead and click on the video card above. In my case, I already have everything set up. I even have this reported right here. If I click on this, you're going to see that this is setting up the reporter. Now let's go ahead and use this reporter to change the default view. So here we're going to add reporter dot view configurer. Then we say dot view order, followed by dot as, and then in parentheses, we're going to say new view name, and then we're going to add braces and say view name dot dashboard, this one right here. So let me click that and then comma view name dot test. And lastly, we're going to click outside of this parentheses and we're going to say dot apply. Now that that is done, let me go ahead and run some tests so that we can see the new report. I'm going to be running this test right here, knowing that it is going to fail. This way we can see the report being generated. We see that the test failed. Let me go ahead and open the report. I'm going to right click this extent report here, go down to open in browser Chrome and notice that when this report opened, it opened in this dashboard view automatically. I can still switch views by clicking on these buttons over here. Here we have the test view and this is the dashboard view. In this video, we saw how we can change the default view on an extent report. If you would like to learn how to add a stack trace to the extent report, check out the video card on the screen. And as always, you will find the link to the source code used in this video in the video description. Thanks so much for sticking around. I'll see you in the next video.